Hi there. So this is um, your assignment for this section, this very brief section on uh, class variables and class methods. So your job is to write a little class called vending machine. And what this vending machine does is it, it uh, allows you to create vending machine objects that sell uh, three items. And you should have a method for each of those items so that uh, you can, well, I'll show you. It's easier to show you than to explain it. Um, so I'm not going to show you the code for this because that's what you have to write, but I'll make a new vending machine object. And I'll let it, I'm going to say it's vending, vending M1. Okay. And if I, here we go. So uh, this vending machine uh, object, uh, I can buy item one, two, or three, or I can print data about what this uh, about what objects have been sold okay so let's do that let's print data so you're gonna have to do this so what we need what we have there's two things total sales from all machines right and we've sold all the machines all of our one machines have sold zero of the three items and this particular machine has sold zero items of the three items itself all right, so let's um, buy something. So we'll buy item one. Ah, so all the machines have sold one of item one, and this particular machine is the one that sold that one item of item one. All right, so let's make another vending machine object. And we'll print data for this. And this one also knows that one item has been sold of item one, but it itself has sold zero of anything. All right, so let's have this one sell one of item two. All right? So this machine has sold, um, well, you can see what it's done. I don't need to repeat it. And now let's do, again, let's have this machine sell one of item one. So this machine has sold one of one and one of two. And from all the machines of our two machines, two of item one has been sold and one of item two. And if I go back to this machine and I print data, it knows that two items have been sold, even though it was this object that bought that second, that sold that second item one. And the way it's done is that these, there's a variable, a class variable for each of these items. There's also uh, instance variables or fields for each of the items that class variables there's only one of each of these class variables, no matter how many objects of the class I create. And all of the objects of the class are talking to these three class variables. Whereas each object that's created has its own copies of the three instance variables. So it can keep track of its particular sales, but also update the central office, so to speak, with sales. So the central office knows how many items in total have been sold. So your job is to write this program uh, and get it to me by s <coughs> Sunday. It's a real easy program. Um, and it's just covering some stuff that I wanted to cover before we head into our next big section, which has to do with um, the finer points of object-oriented programming, especially related to things like inheritance and polymorphism. Uh, which mean nothing to you now, but will uh, after we move into that new section next week. Okay? Thanks.